One Man Show. You are watching the One Man Show. Ooh, One Man Show. One Man! Ha ha ha, caught you out. It's the One Man Show, the One Man Show, the One 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 Man Show. Starring me! Oh, aren't you pleased that I'm alive? Right! Stand by your beds, pin back your logos, chest out, shoulders back, and listen in. Welcome to the Himalayas! Yeah, isn't life interesting? When you get up in the morning and you think, hmm, I wonder what today's got in store for me. And you get an email saying, uh, do you fancy coming on one of our motorbike tours in the Himalayas on Royal Enfield, 500 cc's? It'll take a couple of weeks to go over it. You'll be climbing to 5,300 feet. And you might have a nice time. Loving hugs. Motorbike tours in India. That's not the name of them, by the way. So I thought to myself, oh, sounds canny. I shall investigate more. And this is all down to Motorbike Rider magazine. This is taking off like I've got a, a tiger by the tail and I friggin love it my god what better could you be bit sunny today isn't it yeah so I'll update you on that a little bit later to find out exactly uh, what the situation is but well, ickle me being invited across to India to ride on a bike for a fortnight. <laughs> oh, go on then. So, what else? She's coming home. She's coming home. Oh, Beyonce's coming home. She's coming home. All that was wrong with her. You know, I said that I tried to start my bike. And it went pop. With a capital pop and it wouldn't turn over well it was a battery cell went pop and i went well yeah but it turned over didn't it i can see the reflection in the lens you see from the sun behind so i'm trying to make it so i don't blur out um so i found out it was the battery that went bang oh dear how sad new battery not a bad thing i guess with winter coming but I also found out something else. In the modern bike, now it's either 11.7 or 11.9, it's one of those two. You need those volts to ignite the engine. Although a battery that won't achieve that, because mine was 11.5 when it was tested, there wasn't enough juice in the tank to spark the engine. So I'm really chuffed to naffy breaks about that. That, uh, that that's all it is. So I'm picking her up later this afternoon. God, I can't wait. Car come in, take come up. That's that one gone. Shuffle back, roll right three times to the right, stand up, and bat on. Uh, so, yeah, really happy about that. So, my car bust cost me 95 quid to fix, my bike bust, and that's going to cost me, I don't know, maybe it's 100 quid to fix with a new battery. I think it's less, but there you go. And I'm back on the road. Motorbike rider. 
motorbike rider. So, I'm a happy little teddy this morning. Invited to India. Welcome to the Himalayas. Snow cone? <laughs> That's a scene out of Monsters Inc. from a while ago. Made me chuckle loads. And then I'm picking Beyonce up later today. God, I've got loads to catch up on. A magazine to produce for next month. And then the next one after that will be for the new year. So hopefully that'll be a monster issue. Monster. I've just said Monsters Inc. Monster. No, shut up. Moving on. So what else is there? Uh, don't know really, I'm just too excited. I'm as excited as an excited thing with every reason to be excited. So I might just shut up. Or I might not. You see, everything comes to those who wait, doesn't it? I know there's somebody maybe watching this who'll be saying, I bloody told you this. I bloody told you this would happen. You didn't bloody believe me. And other profanities which I can't even dare say on video. He called me one a few days ago and he thought he'd upset me. <laughs> Sticks and stones me break me bones. You can call me what you like. As long as you're far enough away, that is. So there, I guess, is the wrap-up for today. I'm coming to the bottom of me hill, so it's just a quick one today, I suppose. Not wrong with a quickie, is there? We've all had a quickie. So until the next time, or there might even be a PS. Bye-bye for now. PS. That's what I walk past these mornings. Move yourself. Quite a few there, isn't there? And one more thing. I've got a summit in the bottom of my right, right boot. It's sticking in the bottom of my right boot. It's taking my mind off myself, having palpitations and losing my breath. So I'm going to leave it in there. It's my right foot buddy this morning. I know what it is, it's a seed, because I had to walk through a cornfield a few days ago. And the less said about that, the better. Because I'm not going to tell you. Go on, bugger off, get some work done. Ta -da. It's the friggin' hill, you see. PPS. I'm just coming to the end of my five miler. <coughs> Bloody hell. But something popped into my mind, and that is, 20 years ago, my dad was my age. 55, coming on 56. I'm 56 in two months. I've had my challenges. I poo in the bag, my dick doesn't work. <laughs> I've got severe arthritis in my shoulders. That's how high. That's it, and it's crackling like hell. <coughs> Apparently, I'm slightly asthmatic, and to cap it all, I'm diabetic. Yeah, bring it on. But, the point I want to make is, as I say, my dad was 55, 56, 20 years ago. He's been dead three years this year, though. But, at my age, he'd had angina, he'd had a heart attack, and he'd also had a multiple bypass up at Freeman's in Newcastle which he nearly died from and in fact the surgeon said had he known the damage at the back of the heart which is where the heart attack had damaged had he known the damage he wouldn't have operated <coughs> well they revived him on the table and it took him two weeks to turn round and I went to get him and I dragged him out of the hospital and said come on and it took him a while to get over it. But the very thought that me, at the age of 55, 56, having angina, heart attack, a multiple bypass, Christ, that scares the living daylight out of me. It really does. But my dad smoked, you see, smoked all his life. He used to like his beer and his whiskey, as I used to. 
and I've been teetotal six years this year and I stopped smoking in 1983. It's all about choices and it's all about lifestyle. You can either be in your middle 50s and dead or dying with a multiple bypass or you can get off your backside and do some walking and try and keep fit. Oh yeah, and stop bloody smoking. Ta-da! One Man Show You are watching the One Man Show Ooh, One Man Show